So I think this is the video that you are waiting for. We are going to use Media Pipe with the Piper Meta Library to control the brightness of this LED using my hand or the distance between the index and the thumb. As you can see, we can set the brightness. For now, it is 80%. We can set it to 50% or zero. And this is just one example. You could use the same process to control a robot arm and servo motor angle. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button. That helps me a lot. And let's dive right in. To create this project, you're going to need an Arduino board like the Arduino Nano and an LED with a 220 ohm resistor. I've already connected the positive lead to the digital pin D3 to control it. And on the other side, I have added the ohm resistor. And now we want to control our Arduino board using Python. And to do that, we have to install or upload a code. It is called the standard Fermata code. You simply have to open up the Arduino IDE and get the Fermata library using Fermata. And here it is by Fermata developers. Under this library, you will find the sketch. You have to open it up by going to File, Examples. And here we have Fermata and it is called standard Fermata. Make sure to select it. Now to upload it, we have to select the board. For me, it is an Arduino Nano that is connected to the COM3. Then we can hit upload. We've already talked about this process in our last episode. Once you do that, we can close the Arduino IDE and open up PyCharm. To save a little bit of time, I'm gonna use our last sketch on how to use the Media Pipe library. I'm gonna add its link under the description. Here we are just reading the frame and getting the hand and marks using the media pipe library. So we'll continue by adding the Pyfer Meta library and control our Arduino board. We have to go to file, then settings, and under the project name and the Python interpreter, we have all of the packages. Let's add new one, and it is called Pyfer Meta 2. Make sure to select the same name and hit install package. And there you go, it is installed successfully. We can close this window and import our package on top using import, then the name, pyfermata2. Next, we have to create our board object so that we can control the Arduino Nano or any kind of Arduino that you have. I'm gonna give it a name like board equals pyfermata2 dot, and we have Arduino. This takes in the port of the USB cable. In my case, it is COM3. Also, we have to add the pin definition to control this LED. I'm gonna call it LED pin and use board, which is our microcontroller, dot get pin. This takes in a pin definition. It's like the pin mode in the Arduino IDE. As I said, I have used the digital pin number three. So we have to add D for digital, then colon, and the number of the pin, which is three. And finally, we have to set the pin mode, like I for input, O for output, and we have P which stands for PWM, so that we can control its brightness. To check that we are able to communicate with the Arduino board using Python, I'm gonna go under this while true, that is called over and over again, and set the brightness using the name of the object LED pin dot, and the method that we use to control its brightness is called write. This takes in a float between zero and one, so one means full brightness. Let's try to set it to 50% using 0.5 and run this main file using run. And there you go, the LED is turned on and we have 50% brightness. Also, we have the frames that are created using the video capture object. And we have used the media pipe library to get these landmarks, which are these red points. We're going to calculate the distance between these two. Then we'll use its distance to uh, calculate the brightness and adjust it. So without any further ado, let's continue. So each time we are taking the frame from the video capture using cap.read. If it's done successfully, we can process it using hand.process. Then we can check if we have detected the hands or the hand landmarks using result.multihand landmarks. In such case, we can loop through all of the hands. We could also adjust this code. We only need to take one hand. And to do that, we can pass it in as a parameter. This is actually a class. If you hold down the control key, you will see all of the parameters that you can adjust, like the maximum number of hands. By default, it is set to two. We can change it using the name, max number of hands equals, and use one. So we don't need to loop through all of them. 
I will simply check if we have a hand landmark. In such case, we will take the first one and put it inside another variable like hand landmarks equals result dot multi hand landmarks at the index zero because we have one hand. Now that we have all of the hand landmarks, we need to calculate the distance between these two using the index four for the thumb tip and number eight for the index tip. So I'm gonna create two variables. The first one I'm gonna call it uh, thumb tip equals hand landmarks dot landmark at the index four. And the second one is gonna be the index tip equals hand landmarks dot landmark at the index eight. For now, let's try to print these two objects using print the thumb tip and print the index tip. Also, I want to add a little bit of delay by using the time library. I have to import it. It is called time and use time dot sleep like uh, one second or two seconds. And let's run the main file again. And if I put my hand, you see that we have some measurements. The first one is the thumb tip. So we have few parameters, which are the XYZ coordinates. The same thing for the index, we can get the position. And here we're gonna use a little bit of math. So to get the distance between two points, we have to use this formula. And these two points are the landmarks that we have taken. As you can see, we're gonna use the square root. So we have to import a library that has this functionality. Let's go on top and import it. It is called math. You don't have to worry about installing this package. It is built in. And let's go down and write the same formula. I will create a variable and call it distance equals math dot. And we have the square root. Then I'm going to use the difference between the x values of the thumb and the index tip. And here we have the power of 2. Then we're going to add the difference of the y values. So let's copy it again and paste it. Make sure to use thumb tip dot y and the index tip dot y. And let's try to print it to check out the result. And there you go. Now we can get the distance. As you can see, it is about 0 0.6. Let's try to adjust it. You could also add two lines using the picture or the frame. For now, it is zero. We can use this value to adjust the brightness of the LED. We can use it directly. We don't have to map the value. So we'll use LED pen dot right and pass in the distance. You could also rename it to brightness if you want. I think that's all what you have to add. And there you go. We can adjust the brightness of the LED. Now it's about zero. So I think that's pretty much it guys for this video. If you have any question or comment about this project, make sure to write it under the comment section down below and I will see you in the next one.